Hello class. Let's practice something else using already drawn geometry from industry or from industrial products. Let's start work page. It's ready. I'm initializing static structural. <clears throat> uh, the material, let's keep that structural still as a default. I'm not going to change that one. Geometry. Let's open space clay. Okay, now we have a space clay. I would like to insert an industrial product. You can draw yourself if you have all the dimensions, everything, or you can look for those materials. Here, there's a website which includes many, many uh, industrial products and uh, you can search from that. Let's go for bracket. S and search for the available brackets in this space claim website. As you can see, different companies they have presented different shapes for brackets for different application. This time I would like to import a wall bracket. Mm, let's find something interesting. Still not interested. Show me more. Okay, we have several wall brackets here from ABB. Uh, let's select this one. You can see we have different versions of this wall bracket and the general figure is like that. So I'm going to download the 3D geometry. IGS is the better one. Yeah, I select IGS here, click download. And you can see the downloading uh, area here created for IGS file. So now you can download it. It's finished. Let's check the download. Extract it here. And you can see we have IG, not STL. Let me delete this one and this one and just drag IGS file here, extract. Let me see. Yeah, now we have IGS file there. Let's go back to our space claim. Now I'm going to insert desktop, ANSYS workshop number one. This one, space claim just shows the uh, SCDOC files, but we want to show 
all the files here. I'm going to select IGS and wait for it to be imported. Okay. Now we have beautiful uh, wall bracket here. Let's check first, right click, check geometry to not have any error. So we don't have any error. Sometimes when you import a file, it comes with some errors which you need to take care here, fix it, and then move it to the uh, to the to the other the analysis section. Everything is okay. Let's close this one and go to the model. Waiting to import all the geometry inside the model and uh, analysis section. Okay. This is ISOVIA. Let's check the default mesh. Pretty good. Uh, I would like to apply some boundaries here for back side of the bracket. Let's click static structure. For the support section, we are going to have, let's for now consider fixed support for this part. And I'm going to apply some pressure where over these two areas. So let's go for the loads, pressure, and the area I'm going to select is this, clicking control to select the second one. apply so and it's a downward and it defined by normal tool which I'm happy let's consider 500 megapascal for the solution I want to see total deformation and stress Oh, I forget to apply fixed support. So, selecting this and applying fixed support. Now we have check the green check here the, uh, for the fixed support because I didn't apply the geometry. There was a question mark here. Let's solve it. Total deformation. As we expected, we have highest deformation here, far from the fixed geometry, fixed support here. And the maximum stress happens around this point. Yeah, yes, the maximum stress is 